question number four, financial literacy, okay? Um, could you commit to someone that has a lot of debt or that has filed for bankruptcy? Does that matter to you guys? Daniel? Financial literacy. No, I, I, oh, I thought she was calling mine. Uh, yeah. Um, Think about it now. You're grown. You ain't I no child. Second. I need a second. Courtney, I'm going to need you to go. Because that's a lot to think about. <laughs> um, that's how I feel, Brandon. Low key. Yes and no. But like, it just, I think it depends on, it's, it's bankruptcy hard. doesn't bother me. Okay. Say, say I'm with somebody who is um on child support, right? Ooh. Okay. And uh, they're on child support. Maybe they haven't been paying, you know, they have, you know, back pay or whatever you call it or however, if we get married, that's now part of my debt too. You know what I mean? So that's, that's kind of, it's a tricky situation. I think it, I think it all depends. It is. I I know situations where basically the person was like in debt, had a whole bunch of back pay. They got married because they're now filing together. Yeah. And the taxes get taken and then they factor in their income. Exactly. It's part of her thing. But it's possible to file married but separate, right? Or do you get penalized for that? Uh, I think the circumstantial. I don't know. I don't know. And then it also depends on the state as well. It it does depend on the state. But you, yeah, but most definitely it's possible to marry, uh, to file married but separately. That is the only reason why I say that is because (laughs) this is, I'm telling my mama business, but she, like, she said, she said like after after my parents got divorced and like her first income tax after that she went from owing money to getting like almost seven grand back so she was like dang like if i if we could have did this we would have been straight because like every time she filed with my every single time she filed with my father as married she owed money as well because of his debt but she said she had the option like she, when we like grew up and started getting jobs and stuff she told us the story and she was like, she told like she had the option to file uh separately but married. And she would have been able to get, you know, what she needed and not have to deal with his debt, even though they're married. So that's why I was like, does it really you not necessarily taking on, but she said she did it because he well, I don't know kind of like loved the, him. <laughs> that's the really what I'm talking about. I don't know what exactly they filed. I know that his debt became her debt. And to child support, like she owed child support too because they were married. I don't know how they filed, but I think Ashley is right. Like it depends on where you're at to like you have okay. to file together. Okay. But I see, I don't know that. Yeah. That being said, like let's say that was the situation. Like it's kind of, it's kind of hard. It's because even if like you don't have that debt, you still have to like you're you're married now. You're still one. You still have to take on part of that debt. You know what I mean? Like I don't know how you. The you only- just, <laughs> I don't know how you can marry someone and then like say they're this, you know, this big amount in debt and just ignore that. But it's the same thing as marrying a rich person and they making you sign a prenup. I know what? it is the same thing, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's the same thing. Like you're saying, well, we're one, we're one. Like say for instance, if I'm a mar- if I'm a millionaire and I'm trying to marry you and you like, okay, well let's, you know, I don't want to sign no prenup. It might be a problem for somebody because I'm a millionaire. You're not. <laughs> you know what exactly. I'm saying? and it might so, be a problem for somebody who doesn't want to take on that, that debt. debt yeah so i, I think, totally agree i think it's more so what individually what are you willing to take on that's right just yeah, that's just what it yeah that's, that's what it comes I, down I, to i feel like that absolutely um so with that being said general question here yes or no will you excuse student loan debt like do you ignore that you got because everybody comes with student loan debt or is that like well hold up how much student loan debt well i this is this is how i feel about that the more student loan debt you have i feel like the further in school you was trying to go so like that that is what i take into consideration doctors lawyers surgeons you know what i'm saying stuff like that they're thousands of thousands upon thousands of dollars in debt some of them because you're trying to be in school for darn near 15 years you know what i'm saying um so for me it's like that kind of trumps that because you still have the the potential of making over a hundred thousand dollars a year as a doctor or surgeon or something like that but you have a lot of student loan debt so yes i would exclude that well sugar not that's my point she doesn't have to that's my point but 
for me, I don't see me being with somebody who has this big debt. We're supposed to be married. We're supposed to be one. You know, that's how I would look at me being married. I don't see if someone has this big debt. I don't see how I can just ignore that. I can't, I don't see me saying that, oh, this is their debt. You know what I mean? Because of where but it's, it's still from. their debt. I, mean, I get what you're saying, like, but I'm, I, I get that part. That's what I'm saying. I get uh, that part that that's their debt, but I don't see me just ignoring that and putting that burden because if we're trying to build something that can hurt what we're dealt like that could hurt what we're trying to build. I so feel that. I don't, if, so let's start. I'm, with, I'm not saying that everyone has to deal with that or everyone, you know, or maybe you can't get married and you can't ignore that. That's for those. That's what I'm saying. It's, a, it's an individual thing. For I me, see that. I'm not, yeah. I'm not going to be with somebody with this big ass debt that I chose to be with and just ignore that because it's their debt. But so my question is, would that stop you from being with him? If y'all are obviously a lot of people don't talk about. And that's finances. what we're that's what we getting at. We're yeah, gonna start a lot of people don't talk that. about finances. Now you now you're dating this dude. Now you're starting to fall in love with this dude. And he's like, by the way, if, if IRS that's is not looking for it, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look for who? Right. <laughs> they, they looking for us. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. They're looking for no, you and me. Right. No, you're completely right. We don't talk. I mean, well, we uh, I do. But I'm saying you know I do. Of, we know you do business lady. But a lot of people don't talk about that. Um right. I feel like if I felt like it was worth it, yeah, I would deal with it. Look at God. But what is worth it? Now I want to die. That's what I want to know. What I'm is like, worth it? What's what worth is worth it? it? What do you mean? He's just the man of your dreams. He's everything. And he's everything just, I wanted. And he's and, everything and, okay. I would want in a man. It's it's who I want to spend the rest of my life with. If I felt like that was the potential of what's going to happen, if I had my feelings, if I was in love with that man to that point to where I was like, you know what? He worth it. I you know what that's it. called, people? Compromise. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Compromise. We need a name for him because Kiki got Michelle. What are we going to call Daniel? Charles, I, I told you, Care Bear. I don't know. I come up with we come up with something. Y'all, Care Bear. Look, the, the ones that be watching this show and see that Daniel is an extremely different type of guy. Uh, we need a nickname for him. Uh, you know, but um, and don't say right. nothing uh, offensive. <laughs> all right, so okay, my <laughs> thing is, I do have these conversations. I have two types of conversations. I am having the um, the debt. Well, I don't really go debt debt, but you know the credit score. I do feel like we need to start having these conversations. Uh, period about asking about credit score and about debt, and I talk about prenups. Um, I've had guys that are very offended by that. I've had, but I've had more guys be like, "What the fuck is that? You all right? You you good? They thought it was a damn. I was taking medication. <laughs> Hilarious. That was like, what is that? You okay? I'm like, anyway. So, uh. Which is basically, I'm saying, uh, the guys that didn't know what that was, they were offended. Some of them were offended. And I, I broke it down to them like this right here. I said, okay, uh, do you have house insurance? Do you have car insurance? Do you have life insurance? Do you have insurance on your cell phone? And of course, there's like, yes, 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 yes. I said, okay, so a prenup is insur an insurance policy on the marriage, you know? So just in case if shit doesn't work out, you're mad with me, I'm mad with you, but when it come down sitting to the table, it's not like you're going to want so much from me, you know, like, oh, you're going to pay me spousal support, da -da -da -da. I'm taking the kids, you're going to pay me child support. No, you, it's an insurance policy where you keep what you have in the relationship, came into the marriage with, and I keep what I have came into the marriage with, and then uh, whatever we build together, you know, we split amongst each other. And then also, the prenup. Very important, uh, Brandon the prenup is uh that's just the beginning like you can always um amend the prenup as things progress so like right now i have a couple businesses so go into it like he ain't getting shit but let's say he partnered with me within the third year of our marriage and now we have like this uh restaurant together you know a mom and pop restaurant or whatever now but let's say the fifth year now we broken up like he ain't shit i ain't shit you know because i love two niggas at the same time you know so now we come to the table. Now that first prenup is gone, because now we're going with the second prenup, where now we're dividing the assets of that the, that restaurant, that mom and pop restaurant, you know. So, yeah. Um. So basically, the point of this is, you guys, listen. Even having conversations with your side dudes and your whoop de whoops, ask them 
what's your credit score? Like, how much debt you got? And then before you get into a serious relationship, like marriage, start helping that person, um, um, like chop down that debt. Like sometimes like work some extra hours and put like women, I think we're more financial. Like a lot of guys go work and then bring us the money because they know we're responsible with the money, you know? So start setting yourself up, <laughs> start setting yourself up on a budget, you know, to where you can pay it now. Cause like a guy, you got to show me. I think Brandon had mentioned this earlier or something. Somebody mentioned it earlier, but like you got to show that you're willing to knock down the debt. You got to show, put some type of effort in it. So hypothetically, let's say you propose to me, we're engaged, but I don't want to go into marriage with your $30,000 worth of debt, okay? So we're going to use like, I, I break shit down in the corner. So the first three months, you need to show me, we, we paying off something. You know, the next three months, now we're six months, you pay off something, you know, but uh, we're not walking into the, no uh, no marriage and no $30,000 worth of debt. You know, that that's just ridiculous. You got to... So I think before you take that leap, you know, but to each his own, y'all can knock it down together while y'all already say I do, you know, but to me personally, I just need to see some type of effort. Like, I'm not doing that, you know, because I don't want you thinking, assuming that automatically, like, my money going to pay for what your stuff, you know. And that's facts. I'm not doing that. That's facts. Now, I'll help you. I, those of you who watch the show, y'all know I am a helper. I'm not a, I'm not a stingy woman, you know. I will help my man, but he has to show some type of effort. You know? Right. So. I feel it. So basically, uh, my answer to that, no, I ain't doing it, you know, but I'll help you get up out of it as a friend and as a lover. But as far as some type of commitment, commitment, where we bonded for life, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. I ain't Will and Jada. We ain't no bad marriage for life. I ain't doing that shit. But, uh, all right. 